Hey Capricorn, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general reading for June going into July 2022. We're going to see what messages pop out for you guys. Capricorn, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Placements, you also could be dealing with a Capricorn. Take a resonance and leave the rest. Cross watches, you are very much welcome here. Hello, hello. If you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, I offer them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. Go to my Etsy shop. I also have my tarot oracle decks on sale and your bonus reading is up on Vimeo. All right, let's take a look. My Capricorns, what's going on? Please, for messages for Capricorn. All right, there you go. Queen of Pentacles. All right, Queen of Pentacles came out with the Six of Swords. So a lot of you guys, um, you're you're walking away or letting go of a situation that brought a lot of conflict to your life. I'm seeing struggles, conflict, arguing, anything that just brought some kind of uncertainty, instability, okay? You're moving away from that because you're focusing on you, right, Capricorn? That's your energy, Queen of Pentacles. You're focusing on your stability, your growth, developing yourself, nurturing yourself, investing in yourself. Um, this could be about you walking away from something here that just isn't worth your time, your energy, your effort anymore. So some of you guys are moving away from a um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone again at may have conflict. Maybe this is a situation here and you're moving towards some kind of peaceful um, life, you know, harmony and peace are very much of your focus with the Queen of Pentacles, very grounded energy. And that's the energy I want to see you guys in. All right. So Capricorn, in a recent past. We have the Judgment in verse, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So yeah, this is what you're walking away from, right? You're walking away from hurt, heartbreak, betrayal, lies, okay? The Nine of Swords, something that kept you up late at night, constantly thinking, going around your head. You were struggling with it. This is frustration. This is mental conflict and mental turmoil. And I feel like a decision had to be made with the Judgment in verse. Maybe you waited a really long time to finally make this decision to let this go. And I feel like in making this decision, it may have brought you a lot of pain and hurt. But as soon as you made this decision, it feels like healing became um, very much an option for you. Okay, there's, there's a focus on healing and releasing and letting go. Now, the current energy, Capricorn, we have the Seven of Swords in the verse. There could be someone here wants to clear the air because it's also accompanied by the Six of Cups. Six of Cups and the Five of Wands in the verse. It feels like someone here wants to um, reconcile, come back in your life. Six of Cups could be this person dreaming about you, wishing, right, manifesting, thinking about the good times, the past times and memories. It feels like this is someone is has a lot of good memories of the past. And I even feel this is someone that you may think about as well. I'm seeing the Six of Cups as being maybe someone you have a child with. This could be someone you went to school with. There has been, um, there's a lot of history here, okay? Definitely a deep emotional connection. Now with the Seven of Swords, it's leading me to believe in reverse that someone wants to clear the air or clear the space. Maybe they did something here they're not proud of. This could be someone here that you don't trust either. Because the Seven of Swords can be the energy of lies, cheating, going behind your back. And I feel like that has created a lot of challenges in the connection, which your person wants to now overcome. On your mind, my sweet Capricorn, we have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands in reverse. It feels like there's been a lot of delays and challenges. It feels like maybe you guys have been holding on to something for a really long time. And that's why things haven't been moving and manifesting in your life. Could be a reason as to why you've been experiencing a lot of delays within your love life. Now with the Queen of Swords energy, this could be someone that you're thinking about, someone that you're dealing with, or maybe you are in this Queen of Swords energy. There's the energy of someone maybe coming in to communicate speaking their truth, speaking their mind. This also could be the energy of finally getting clarity and truth to be able to make good decisions for yourself. It may even require cutting out something that doesn't work for you, especially if it's been creating obstacles and delays for you. In the foundation, Capricorn, we have the Five of Swords in the verse, Six of Pentacles in the verse, Nine of Pentacles in the wheel in the verse. It feels like someone's life is going in the wrong direction. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the energy literally of this person creating conflict or feeling in this place of deep conflict because, you know, now they don't look at you as someone that they can um, 
invest in the six of pentacles in verse i feel like this person was not reciprocating to begin with i feel like they gave you less than gave you crumbs and i feel ultimately capricorn you may have realized that this person brought a lot of instability to your life or just had nothing to offer right they came empty-handed they weren't willing to invest properly and so this is someone who's in great conflict now i'm seeing the five of swords feeling quite defeated by the current situation and the wheel in reverse things are not moving in the, the way they want it to in fact this is someone who feels like things are going to continue to to move in this um opposing direction if they don't take some action or bring forth change as far as the outcome capricorn we have the ace of cups there's a new love offer coming in we'll find out who this is with Chariot moving forward, victory in the Eight of Cups and Verbs. Could be someone returning. Some of you guys, you may just also just be offering um, love to someone else. Ace of Cups is a renewal. It could be a new lover entirely as well. But it's very loving. It's This is someone you're going to have a really strong connection with. There's a lot of love on the table in the future for you guys. Now, the Chariot, you just have to move forward. You have to believe in it. You have to be certain about it. The Chariot is about, you know, not really looking backwards, not looking in the past, looking forward and proceeding as such. So let's jump right in. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. All right, give me the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is in a challenging position for you guys. Why is the Six of Swords here for Capricorn, please? eight of wands so yeah i think a lot of you guys if you've experienced a lot of delays in your life in your love life in particular it feels like now you want change and that is a challenge to be that force of change to do what's needed take action to bring forth that change and with the six of swords a lot of you guys you've chosen you literally had to choose to leave something behind that brought you great conflict and by leaving that behind you're allowing movement to come into your life you're allowing progress and you're allowing yourself to finally get to the stable place that you want to be the queen of pentacles so give me the recent past there's been a lot of anxiety or stress regarding making some kind of decision yeah there's someone here that may have walked away from you the eight of cups the ace of swords in verse and the nine of pentacles in verse it feels like you wanted a partnership or some kind of relationship with this person but they were not very honest i'm even feeling a lot of you you know you didn't get what you needed from this person maybe they left you only to come right back there was a lot of uh, maybe even emotional manipulation or just withholding of information the eight of cups i almost feel like there was some kind of break or some kind of emotional distance between the both of you again this could be someone that walked away from you ace of swords and verse there was a lack of clarity a lack of truth now some of you guys you may have walked away from this person because you felt like they were playing around maybe you had a relationship with them but they were being very dishonest to you about something i'm also seeing the three of swords so someone here you may have walked away from because they may have put you in a third party situation and they denied it i feel like there were lies here for sure and i feel like it may have gotten to a point where it was your last straw the judgment in the nine of swords where you had to make a decision you had to make a decision and some of you guys you had to walk away and leave this person in the dust because that wasn't working for you okay now the current energy is a six of cups someone maybe wanted to come back to you the page of cups yeah Page of Cups and the Magician, this could be a Gemini. Someone here definitely wants to reach out to you. I'm getting an apology. This could be someone who's expressing their heartfelt feelings, emotions. This can also be a confession with the Page of Cups, right? Seven of Swords in verse, clearing the air, confessing something that they've done. Seven of Swords, if they wronged you, this could be them coming clean. Now, the Page of Cups with the Six of Cups, this person's intention is to apologize, to get back in your good graces, to reconcile with you. This is someone who's thinking about what they had in the past and how beautiful it was and well they want to manifest that they want an opportunity to get all of that back so the magician is telling me this person wants to create a new opportunity for you and them they want to change the situation around they want to turn things and make it um you know something here that is emotionally fulfilling for the both of you guys it feels like there is deep love here but things just haven't worked out for some reason so this is someone that wants to change it they may see a need for change they may be also um moving away from something that brought resistance to the connection the five of wands maybe you guys were arguing about the same thing over and over and this is someone who's saying okay now i'm gonna be the person who allows us to move past this so give me the queen of swords this could be communication coming in okay so we have the high priestess in the verse and the two cups in a verse 
So obviously this is someone you had a break or downfall of a connection with. The Two of Cups is perhaps your soulmate or someone you considered your soulmate. There's a lot of delays in this connection. It feels like there was a breakup and then nothing has taken place. Okay, there's been a lot of delays since then. Now with the Queen of Swords, it's telling me there could be communication coming in. There could be some truth. There could be something that's being revealed to you as to maybe why something ended. The star... And the Hierophant. I feel like someone here definitely saw you as a dream, a wish come true. This is someone who sees you as being very special. But there was something here regarding commitment that maybe this person wasn't ready. There was a lot of delays because this person put off maybe committing. Or this could be marriage for some of you guys. They weren't ready for marriage. The Hierophant is telling me that there could have been some differences regarding how you guys perceived commitment, marriage. It could have been someone that, you know saw those things in their life but eventually but may have been not ready for it at the time because the eight of wands is the lays right they weren't ready now with the star this is someone who's hopeful that they can heal this with you they're hopeful that they can um you guys can work around this some in some way five of swords in verse let's look at this person's energy a little bit more five of swords or some kind of defeat here ten of swords so they're feeling defeated about this ending ten of swords it's left them quite devastated it's left them feeling like you know what now what do i do with my life now so this person hasn't gotten over this ending that they had with you six of pentacles in reverse there's a lack of reciprocity here um give me the energy the six of pentacles maybe this person was giving to another situation and um that's why there was no reciprocity I think this person was just being greedy. For a lot of you guys, you were trying to figure out why this person didn't offer what you needed. And the real reason is because they were holding back. They were greedy. They were being very selfish. It may have not necessarily been another person in the picture. This person could have just been focused and fixated on their own assets, money, power. And I'm just... I'm just seeing greedy, greedy, greedy. Now, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, things haven't been working out for them. Three of Cups, maybe regarding their dating life. Um, I feel like things haven't really been moving forward. The Wheel in reverse with regard to dating other people. Maybe they thought they had other options. Three of Cups, maybe they're certainly seeing other people, but things haven't been working out. Looks like their love life has taken a hit or hasn't been moving in the right direction. And therefore, Six of Swords, that's why we have the challenge of Six of Swords. So they're going back to what they had with you, and now they want to move away from conflict. So instead of starting a new connection or pursuing one of these people that they were maybe dealing with in the past, it looks like they want to uh, reconcile with you and make peace with you. So there's the energy of like, I don't want Capricorn to move on. So give me the Ace of Cups. It could be a new love offer coming in. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, maybe with someone that you had a missed opportunity with this could be someone that you're going to offer love to or receive a love offer from but maybe it's not very stable maybe this is someone who's still non-committal ace of wands it feels like something is definitely getting off the ground and it's going to be victorious but it's going to be victorious in the sense that it's going to be something you want and desire it's going to be something that's very loving but it may not have the security that you want ace of pentacles came out in the verse so that's the only thing you should be concerned and a ten of pentacles in verse it feels like someone is coming in very very quickly and it's going to be a loving offer someone here could be even returning to you with the eight of cups in verse it can pay off. It looks like it will move forward. But one thing you need to know is that it may not lead into what you would want it to lead to. Some of you guys, maybe you're not thinking about commit, commitment right now. Um, maybe you're just wanting to have fun and want real love. So I do think this person is going to offer you love. It's going to be desire, passion, great chemistry. But I wouldn't jump into a relationship or maybe a commitment with this person because I do see some differences still here. So that is what I'm seeing, Capricorn. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload. You guys all take care.